2018. Gonna be our winner's finals, of course. Amenti, as we mentioned, super clean textbook play, and base the man who, I mean, he has thousands of hours of Killer Instinct up on his YouTube channel. If you guys are interested in checking out footage of that game or any of the fighting games that he plays, actually. Uh, he streams all the time. Check him out on Twitch if you guys haven't seen it. Yeah, during development, uh, I, I linked to Bass's channel all the time because he yeah. just had a bunch of stuff on there. Super informative, really good, just good gameplay. Tons, yeah. hours and hours and hours yeah. and hours of matches that you guys can check out if you're interested in high-level KI. I implore you to do so. The netcode is so good, right? So matches online, they actually matter. Ooh, I'll never get tired of hearing that theme. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Here it is, winners, finals of the bracket. Base versus Amenti. The character choice is going to be interesting. I imagine that's player one Amenti with Maya. Yeah, it's player one Amenti. Yeah, and like we said. Man, everybody in the crowd's yelling, Spooky is going to switch the names. Relax. <laughs> Give Spooky 30 seconds. He'll switch the names. All right, look at that. Jeez. He's working back there. Let the man do his job. Yeah, this is one of those things where, you know, Amenti plays so many characters. Oh, yeah, of course. And base. Looks like he's going with Cinder. Okay. All right. Locks in with the yeah. Cinder. Yeah, he plays a bunch of characters. Yep. All right. I want to hear the people in the building. How are you guys feeling about winner's finals of Combo Breaker 2018? That's what I'm talking about. We got a Menti player on one side with Maya changing it up from that Eagle, changing it up from that Gargos. We've seen him play a bunch of characters. Base with Cinder, a character that he played a long time. I think this is a good choice. You're going to see a Menti. Very safe game plan. Very solid. He just he values the hard knockdowns. And in this matchup, the crouching heavy punch from Mayo, one of the better anti airs against trailblazing, you know, against a lot of the options here. Yeah, down jab, whiff, and then that light uppercut into the dagger toss. Really safe, meaty setup. Lights those arms on fire. You can see the life bar burning away in that top left. Mency just playing really, really patiently right now. Just As waiting usual. for that opening. All right, throws the dagger. There you go. And goes in for the throw afterwards. Base with the tech. Not afraid, and that's the thing about Maya. She has a high, she's a high mobility character, but really solid ground game, actually. Yeah, and you can see that ants here crouching, heavy punch, huge hitbox, hits up into the ceiling. Yeah, exactly. There hits behind go. her head as well. He's gonna get the juggle off of it. Two daggers, takes the uh, extra little pickup, throws them both. That's unblockable. See Adam powered up, big cash out too. Get that dagger. He's got to run back and grab the the uh, other dagger, the light punch dagger. Not the best punish there from Amenti. No. <laughs> but it's okay. Could have been better. <laughs> yeah. Down Fierce, yeah, and he, he caught it. And there's that anti or the uh, break on that crouching Fierce that great juggle starter for Cinder. Yeah, arms are on fire. He just waits it out. Tried that crouching heavy punch again. You gotta be careful about anti airing when the bombs are on you. He could have shadow countered that. He does not. And he got the challenge. Takes the throw. Yeah, that would have been death if it hit. I like that after the throw, he's checking with stand medium kick, but not always canceling into the dagger toss. Look at that potential mm, life being yeah. built up by the Inferno. Walks up, checks him, Shadow Clap. This is Big Chip. Yeah, base can just land one opening right here. It's going to hurt. Yeah, the juggle afterwards. Keep it unbreakable with a dagger toss. I like that he didn't extend any further than he needed to. And you can see in the bottom left, those daggers are getting charged up. If you get two purple pips, it's unblockable, right? That's what he's trying to build up here. Medium doubles, no break. Shadow in, or, uh, Inferno there for big potential damage. Yeah, unblockable homing. The juggle. Okay, yeah, it looked like he actually tried maybe him to jump low there in the wake-up throw from base. Goes to the other side, plus frames on that. Tries to check him. Shadow counter. Yeah, this is one of the things that Amenti is really known for. And a lot of people in the community still don't usually capitalize on those shadow counters. Yeah, his much. shadow counters are next yeah. level, as we were saying. Yeah. Only gets the purple dagger, though. So not going to have access to the light dagger. Yeah, he tries to go up and grab it. Flip kick. I feel Ooh, like that was a great uppercut. Yeah, now that he knows he's going to jump and do yeah. the bomb explosion, it's a solid challenge from Amenti. This, this green life bar is going to torture base. He still has not been able to get Amenti out. Yeah, clap will be big here. He can go for chip if he wants it. Yeah. Chip him out there here. Put him out of that life bar. Strong choice from base. It costs a bar, but it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he absolutely had to. Yeah, Amenti was getting so much, you know, quote unquote, free damage from that, right? Exactly, yeah, that's just that pixel of life. Fake him out, go to the other side, take the throw, he can OTG. Yeah, it just goes out to the throw. Oh, man, where's the rest of that combo? Try to get the counter breaker. Yeah, if base didn't guess break that, that was going to be ultra. Fierce got the shadow clap again. Chip on that uppercut. Gonna get an uppercut. Yep, this is going to hit. No, not enough to kill. And then, yeah, he's going to instinct activate. Flies away with a trailblazer, trying to get back in there. Amenti running for it, jump back dagger. 
really strong choice, and that first game goes to Omenzi. Yeah, that was really strong play from Omenzi. Just he was be, he was playing really patient. Yeah. He knew all his opportunities when he needed to land them, and he obviously he took advantage of that. 100. percent Yeah. That's the thing you can Those always count. Those two shadow on. counters in a row. Yeah, the shadow counters were sick. super clean. Yeah. yeah, he blocked the uppercut. The fire flash came out. Shadow counter on it. Hey, you name all the moves, right? Uh, sometimes. It's yeah. your fault. I can't remember all of them. Most likely. <laughs> it's yes. all your damn fault. Yeah. So do. the way that that process works. Okay. Is <laughs> we gonna break it down? Yeah. Yeah. This is how this is how it works. Okay. So internally, we have a lot of move names, right? Uh -huh. And they're usually the most obvious things, like oh, a little flip kick thingy, right? And we just call it flip kick for the rest of, okay. of development. And then we intentionally name it something that you'll never remember. Why do you guys <laughs> do this to me? I can't remember a damn thing any of the time. Yeah. It's all uppercuts and fireballs, and I don't know what's happening. I do know that base switch back over to Spinal. Uh, this is one of those matchups where there's actually strong coverage of Spinal's wake-up games from Maya, if you know the proper setups. And uh, you can OS the dagger toss to either direction. She's some really, really good stuff against this character. But obviously, if she gets knocked down, especially without Shadow Bar, she is in a she's world in, of yeah, hurt. Yeah, she's in trouble. Ooh, missed on that. That's the one thing that always is weak for Maya. If she hits you with something and then throws the dagger and, and you get air reset, yeah. the dagger just flies to the other side of the screen. Yeah, and it looks like base realized where the dagger's at, too. Getting Amenti as far away from it as possible. Yeah, she's really weak without that second dagger, right? Much weaker than she is normally, anyway. Still a strong character, but she loses the pivotal part of her game. Yeah, this is exactly how Amenti could lose this match, right? Hit the wall here, stuck in a bad spot. Don't have your dagger. All right, gonna push him forward here. You want to get at least maybe one more throw. Yeah. yeah, he was negative there, so he just went for it. And if you're a mentee, you gotta get to that wall real quick. Yeah, end the combo, go take that dagger. He gave up screen positioning for it. That's how important it is. No anti-air. Overhead, he lands it. And there it is, down fierce, got the skull reset. Overhead, takes the throw. He was looking for the high, throw, high low after, and a mentee gets picked off. There it is, a round for base. A pretty convincing one at that. That life bar worked out very well for him. Rolls up, goes for that kick. Yeah, meaty down heavy punch. Only second hit. That low skull does not connect in time. The slide instinct. Run canceled manuals on that. Goes for the setup. Good block on the overhead. Shadow uppercut. He's going to have a chance for a meaty here. He's building up the pips. And the run cancels. Yeah, base didn't let him get those pips at all. Look at the defense from him. Oh, he tried to walk nice. up and throw him. Locked out. Yeah, base is playing super strong right now. That down fierce, and there it is. This should be the end of this life bar. Nice, cashes out with the shadow. Amenti still looking okay in this. Neutral jump, no anti air from base, surprising to see. Oh yeah, couldn't check after the dive kick, down jab, checks him overhead. Breaks that light do uh, double, he was not having oh, it, the overhead again, and that scramble. Is, base is getting him with his, oh, every single time he's opening him up. Amenti is usually really good with blocking too. Okay, opens him up here. Goes for that overhead, checks him after. Didn't commit to the Again. shadow. How many of those raw that was like overheads? Four, yeah. yeah, that was like four overheads, Those reaches man. on him. That's yeah. the thing about Amenti. He's so patient yep. that he will wait. So if you throw something at him that he's not reacting to, he's just going to get clipped by it, right? Usually very good about blocking those kinds of things on reaction. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know what base was doing. Maybe it was just like the no mix-up mix-up yeah, that was exactly. getting him. Yeah, yeah if, if four overheads <laughs> hit in a row, I'm hitting overhead again. Yeah. Oh. Got a back to character, character select. select. All right. Yeah, I mean, he's no, uh, you know, I, neither of these guys are unfamiliar with this kind of a stage. In particular, yeah. Amenti was in winners finals last year, I believe. Ended up getting third place at CB. He's back trying to represent the Chicago scene, the Midwest, the mid best as they call themselves. And other people. Well, other I mean, yeah, yeah, they always, yeah. You wouldn't hear. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking about going with Shinya Sako here, actually. Against, that's actually such a crazy pick to me, but he locks it in. Shin Hisako for Amenti here. So I'm, I don't know if, if you know how familiar base is with Shin Hisako. That's actually a great question. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the same way about Eagle in that yeah. sense, right? Where there are, certain, there are certain players that play certain characters, and if you don't play with them, you might not know the matchup. Yep. It's that simple, right? Uh, Shin Hisako, an interesting character, really strong on the ground, right? I think really suits a, a player like Amenti, who is really great at playing this sort of matchup. Look at that back dash. Sets out the seal, yep, and then the fireball after takes the sweep. And that teleport in, yeah, she doesn't have a traditional dash, right? That's one thing to know about the character. Take the knockdown. Yeah, Set so play here is very important. Yeah, so yeah, you know, she has the little projectile things, and when, whenever she does her forward dash, she actually dashes to that position, right? Exactly. Yeah. Ooh, both of them out of the range of the throw. Takes the cross up. Basically unreactable. 
as far as I'm concerned. Throws the seal out again. Base walking back. Look at the walk speed from Shin Hisako. The grounded normals are so huge. Yeah, cross up again. All right. He wasn't blocking there. Takes the reset. And then goes to that other side. Yeah, this character, her mix-ups yeah, are so strong. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I was curious if Base was oh, other familiar side? with this matchup. And he teleports out of the way for the punish. Nice work from Base. Yeah, if you're not familiar with what Shin Hisaku can do, oh. you're going to be getting hit by cross-ups all day. Oh, yeah. And then it's light damage, but she just runs it left, right, over and over. The mix-up again. Finds that standing fierce as a manual. Such a strong position for a Menti. And look at this, just fleeing away. Utilizing that strong backdash, the really great grounded buttons, throws the fireball forward. And she could choose the speed she's going to shoot it at, right? So she could just wait on it all. Yeah, yeah. what are you going to do about it? Far ranging buttons afterwards, challenging. She's got that standing fierce, that forward medium punch. That button is absurd. Oh, caught him low, walks up behind the fireball. Great block from base. Oh, yeah, cuts him to the other side, takes that cross up, baits the throw. Amenti Shinisako looking strong here. Takes yeah. that level two uh, wall splat ender into the juggled uppercut after the hard knockdown. Oh my god. He's just bullying him at this point. <laughs> yeah, sets out that seal into the fireball again. And even if he made it over that, he probably could have uppercut if he wanted to. So, yeah, checked him running in. Amenti looking so sharp here. He's, he's ready for everything. All right. Double splat ender, so it just blows out the combo there. Run canceled manual. Yeah, he takes a throw. Ooh, cut the oh, that was nice. He absorbed yeah, it. Yeah, that was pretty cool. He was ready for it on the other side. Good work. The base, he calls out that wake up. He's seen it so many times. Ready powers up, takes those skulls. Oh, they're bouncing everywhere. It's the madhouse. You got to be so so scared. Uppercut? No, it doesn't go for it because the hands. Uh-oh, they're grabby hands. They're coming for him. He's got to <laughs> run for his life. They're cruising on the bottom of that stage. He's got to keep on running. You know they're... Oh, man. He tries to power up with the skulls. The hands... He's got to watch the hands. Okay, they run out. <laughs> oh. Over yeah, at this is gonna be again. It. Yeah, yeah, right into the ultra. Shin Hisako in top three of Combo Breaker. Blue <laughs> Dad. Yeah, what a horrifying like, character. Yeah, like, what does she say during her dad? I have just, no idea. <laughs> she makes this terrifying. Did you yeah. just hear the sword hitting the ground? Yeah. So yeah, there it I, is. Switching things up to a very grounded... Very strong character that lets him apply really just, he's a lab monster, right? He always has yes. incredibly strong mix-ups when he knocks you down. He forces those positions. And that's what you're seeing from Shin Hisako. Just run that neutral, force these uh, mix up Yeah, cross up again. Very, it's just damage. Every time it's free damage as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, and you saw Baster at the start of that game going really, really aggressive. It didn't actually pay off for him. Yeah, take that forward throw. He gets to set up the seal, go for mix-ups here. Walk up, try to bait a throw. Sick block on the overhead, overhead that time. All right, takes that crouching fierce manual. He's gonna be able to take the damage ender on this with the teleport. Uppercut, yeah. And he just checking him, yeah. She has a lot of plus frame buttons she can use as BDs too. She has great buttons to cross up. That time he blocks it. Didn't get it more off it though, he just took a standing jab. Cross up again. It's so fast. It, it, yeah, and it's, you know, it's the small damage that's adding up as well, right? Yeah, like, it doesn't Amanti's do much. okay with playing that style, yeah. right? Okay, there it is, take the throw this time. The uppercut, big risk, but he gets away with it. A shadow counter, not gonna catch him. Yeah, he's able to quickly get out of there. Cancels into the shadow, but a break right away from him. He tries to jump. This is a bad spot to be. He doesn't have any skulls though just yet. Breaks the heavy kick on the uh, juggle. He's at the seal to help him out there. Overhead, breaks the heavy linker. Menti's breaks are on they're point. Yeah, they're so good. Yeah. Oh, goes to the other side, cross up. Instinct activation, what a break on the medium DP. <laughs> the hands! The hands are in play. You know they're coming after you. Gave him the opportunity to get some skulls. Yeah, shoots the seal out. Oh, finds that fierce. He's got to run from the hands. They're almost gone. She's going to put the hands on you. Oh, oh. it's gone. So close. And that he takes the, the life. Yeah, that was a really yeah. good choice from Amenti, but base survives it. Wakes up again. Extra damage. Two go. in a row. Yeah, went for the shadow anyway. Running away. Look at that back dash. She's gone. Run canceled again. Running away. Cross up, just taking that little bit of damage every time. Cheap little damage. It adds up. Catches her low, but didn't get the manual off of it. All right, no break on the heavy linger. Oh, takes that knockdown. You know the seal is coming out. The mix up here. Yeah, yeah. what are you going to do? It's tough. That's how he plays, man. Amenti, very solid, very defensive. And then when he gets the hit, he runs very strong offense on you. It's his style. That's, that's a very powerful play style, indeed. 
teleport? No, he goes for the, the heavy sword to get the ants here instead. Good choice. He had skulls to spare. He just activated that instant cross up again. Takes the forward throw. You just gotta guess here. Oh, it's so strong tricky. mix up. Went for the reset there in the corner. Now this is a huge opportunity for base. Overhead. Gets up the overhead. Oh man. Big manuals after. He's gotta guess in this position. Oh, we walk. The hands forward. are in play. He the gets hand. caught by the hands. He gets pulled oh, them under no. the ground. Where are you going? You thought you were a bad dude. Check it out. The seal, the cross up the shadow. That's and that's going to do it. Amenti oh. moves on. He is in grand finals of Combo Breaker 2018. I did not expect. Representing the Midwest here in Chicago, <sighs> the hometown hero. Could there be a Midwest champion? I hope so. For a combo yeah. breaker. Could there no be a bias. Midwest champion? Yeah, no bias. No bias. I'm not even from yeah. the Midwest. <laughs> I'm not from the Midwest. Man, that was I, – I just can't believe he got hit by the hands. I was not expecting that at that all. That was clean. Play. Yeah. You can't ask for – I mean, the hands are coming. Yeah. What are you going to do, man? There's well, not – We saw last time he ran away successfully from he corner to corner. He ran the entire stage. Yeah. And he barely got away. And then this time he challenged the hands for some reason. <laughs> he just <laughs> drops hands yeah. on you. What are you going to do?